Sagittarius, this is your reading for the Venus retrograde. We're going to look at the negative energies which may be impacting you and how you can bridge them. The dark energies, it's a lot out there attacking uh, light workers or affecting light workers right now, but it's affecting everybody. It's presenting people as light workers who are not. We are also going to look at your clear seeing event, your revelation event, which will come during this Venus retrograde. And finally, we will, we'll look at your karmic energies. Do not forget to go look at the solar energy readings if you haven't seen them already. And please don't forget to look at the link below for the Libra Saturn uh, karmic energies that I did earlier this year. They're very important right now. So for Sagittarius, what negative energy are they dealing with? I'm a Sagittarius fellow Sag, so... I'm always interested in these readings. <clears throat> we have the magician. And this is not like the typical magician that you see in the right of way. You see what's in that bottle. There's a like a body or a, a, some type of almost a fetus inside of it. It's about someone wanting to... <clears throat> It's like the alchemist, someone who wants to be able to turn uh, lead into gold or to uh, manipulate the elements. It's like a, also a necromancer in a way. Uh, this is Leo Scorpio energy, which is quite appropriate because we do have Venus starting to engage with Scorpio. And I believe we have the North Node leaving Leo soon. Um, And there's some odd things with this here because, <clears throat> uh, to be clear, I feel like a lot of Sagittarius are in a situation where they are revisiting some elements of their past uh, that they're uh, pretending were different in a way, but they know in their heart of hearts that they don't want it that way. So, for instance, someone's telling you, your lover wants you back or your lover needs you back. The Sagittarius is interested to hear that because it's an ego stroke but in a reality they would never take that person back because a person broke their their trust and they know that they can never trust that person again some aspect of this is about an ego an ego stroke as well for the Sagittarius energy um, so the dark energies that this, cause this was supposed to be for the dark, negative, dark forces that are impacting Sagittarius. It's almost like they may be feeling a bit more capable than they actually are. Like they have a bit more ability to fix something or fall in, fall in a victim to, uh, someone who may be trying to get back into their life or good graces that they know that they shouldn't trust. But I feel like someone can make apologies to that Sagittarius and the Sagittarius will let them back in or around their life to their own detriment. Um, they can be in a situation where they have to rely on other people who won't be good for them or who they cannot trust out of necessity. And this is to be avoided at all costs. Again, because they're feeling like they're not capable or they can't do it on their own, but in fact, they will find a way. It's better for them to go through that process of having to finagle things and to rely and let people back in their life who they know they can't trust. You can forgive, but forgive doesn't mean trusting and putting any... In, any any aspect of your life into the hands of people who you know you can't trust or believe in or count on. So dark energy, negative energies, which are around Sagittarius during the Venus retrograde, especially for lovers or former partners, husbands and wives, or family members who might be trying to get back in. We have major arcana for how you can bridge this dark and negative energy uh, we have major arcana strength. And I'm getting out of this love. And I'm getting out of this forgiveness because, again, you cannot 
want something good for yourself and be taking your life in a positive direction and in the background of it all, thinking something negative for someone else who may have hurt you, damaged you, or betrayed you. You cannot plan to move forward in your life in a positive way and have a positive re result if you still have ill feelings or ill will towards others. And that can also be organizations, businesses. It doesn't have to be an actual person. It can be an entity of a kind. This is a two of pentacles and again this feels like what we were just discussing you cannot have it both ways you cannot want to seek revenge and be in a process of seeking revenge even if that's psychologically going over the hardships or hard times you want to befall others while you're planning something good for your own future it will never work out because as you dig a hole for your brother even if it's mentally thinking about bad things happening to others, you fall in it, Sagittarius. So let's see what your clear seeing revelation event is. Don't make these cards that keep flipping on. Your clear seeing uh, revelation event. We're going to leave this up here for with what we were just speaking about. This is a major arcana of the chariot, and this is about you having thinking more about your own future and what you need to accomplish for your own future and focusing on this versus on people from your past because this will bring you in a more positive direction and give you the energy and this major arcana strength to accomplish your task at hand because you will need to be capable and a hundred percent during this next phase of your life you cannot afford to expend any energy on bullshit Sagittarius and bullshit means dealing with people or fantasizing about people getting their own. It's bullshit. So your clear seeing event, revelation event during the Venus retrograde for Sagittarius. No, I keep having these cards flip and I do not want them. It's the five of swords. This is just what we talked about. This is a lose-lose situation. No one wins. No one will win. Even the people who you want to fall down, even the people who you who did you dirty, it's not going to bring you anywhere when they get their own retribution of karma. It has nothing to do with you in the end. Even if they do or don't get it, it has nothing to do with you. Who cares? Do you. Do your own life. Get what you need and want out of life. Focus on you. No one else. So you're clear seeing event. We have major arcana justice. Your revelation event, clear seeing event, a lot of different things happening there. And I just said a lot, but I feel like you can't be worried about the scales or laws of karma and justice and people or organization or uh, entities that did you wrong in the past, them getting theirs because it's a process beyond you. It has nothing to do with you. You may hear about someone getting their own back. You may hear about someone falling on hard times. It's not going to bring you any pleasure. And I feel like that's your clear seeing event. You put so much time and energy into perhaps hoping that situations correct themselves or that people get their come up ends. And then you realize in the end, so what? It doesn't, doesn't change my life. It's not making my life better. Why did I focus my energy on that? Move away from it now if you can. How you can bridge the energy. How you can bridge this energy. Sagittarius. How you can bridge this clear seeing event, revelation event. Or Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, as well as Element, how they can bridge this clear seeing event. We have the Six of Wands focusing on your own success, your own future, your own life, because it's all there for you now, especially if you have the strength not to seek revenge. If you had the strength not to seek revenge, if you kept living your life in a positive way according to your own conviction and values, um, if you step, step by your own convictions and values as well, if you're dealing with a lawsuit or something that you have been fighting for for a while, I do feel like it will take a positive turn and direction and everything will be better 
you'll be better for it. Your life will be better. And I feel like, again, people who had looked down on you and didn't support you will be kicking themselves, but that shouldn't matter to you. Somehow, I have to tell you that. It's about you, Sagittarius. Forget about all these other uh, people who don't bring you nowhere, who don't add nothing to you, who only let you down. Forget about them. Who cares what happens to them? It's all about you now. You and yours, what you care about, who you love. We have major arcana judgment. This is finally your karmic energies, what you're going to be dealing with during the Venus retrograde. I feel like you are getting a fresh start. And life is definitely headed in a new direction, in a better direction for Sagittarius, consistent with how they've been living life over the past three to four years. What have you been doing? Have you been watching the videos? Did you follow any of the, the advice with the, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Consistent with how well and how positively you've lived your life is how hard and fast the positives will come in now. I feel like for most it will be quite positive. And finally, how you can bridge the synergy. We have the, now we have the six of wands and we have the six of swords. Isn't that interesting? If you want to have success in your life, you have to move away from these negative events from your past. And that also deals with mentally moving away, not just physically. That means letting this shit go once and for all. If you want to see that success level elevated in your life to a new point, you have to do the work. It's not easy. Major Arcana Strength. It's not easy to let go. It's not easy to give up seeking a type of justice. Legally, it's something different. Staying on top of it, not letting it go. But with people, letting it go. Moving on. Moving up, Sagittarius. Don't forget to watch the Libra Saturn video. It will serve you well. Also, go back and look at some of those other videos that we did for Sagittarius way back when. You know the ones. And uh, I will see you guys back here again soon. Bye-bye.